as we were talking about molecular rotation in our graduate spectroscopy course, students asked me about rotating around any axis that's relevant in the molecule. Well, the rotation around X, Y, and Z axes was very easy to understand from the 3 by 3 matrix. But to rotate around any axis, you need to look at the direction cosines. And one good source for rotation around any axis is Wilson Decius and Cross's book, Molecular Vibrations. I have entered their general rotation matrix uh, in, in this area of the spreadsheet. You can see it's fairly complicated. This is in Appendix 1 of their book. And I've also put in the Cartesian coordinates for methane. I know it's not the optimized version of methane, but it's a tetrahedral methane shown here. And I've also written a small macro that will change this particular angle, chi, which is the rotation around uh, the molecular axis. And you'll see when I hit the rotate button, it rotates methane. In this case, it's rotating it around the z-axis. Here we have the view down the z-axis. Here we're looking down the y-axis. And in the third graph, we're looking down the x-axis. The nice thing about this is we can tilt the molecule using these three different angles. We can tilt the z-axis down so that one of the hydrogens is now placed on the z-axis. Well, what angle would that be? Well, from organic chemistry, we know that the angle between the two hydrogen atoms in methane is 109.5, so let's tilt this by one half of that. Now we've, we've tilted the molecule a little bit, but we need to also change the position of Z as it is uh, projected down onto the XY plane by 45 degrees. And so now we have the molecule oriented in the lab frame where we're looking down the CH bond. And now we can rotate it around that CH bond. And you can see the, the three-fold symmetry is preserved. And using these three angles, theta, phi, and chi, we can rotate the molecule around any arbitrary axis.